rocking out to the rebirth of Canada Continental. It's such an exciting night. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Brooklyn Heights. I was on RuPaul's Drag Race, but more importantly, I was Miss Continental 2014. Say more importantly, because without Continental, I would never have gotten on TV. I would never have, I would never be enjoying the success that I'm enjoying right now in drag. So I owe so much to this pageant, and it means so much to me that we are bringing it back, and that all of you came out to support. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a good time tonight. A couple things before we start. Um, we gotta keep this area clear so the judges can see. Also, this area, we have some reserved seating over here, so if y'all can kind of push back a little bit. Also, upstairs is all open seating in the back. Just wherever you can, we just have to pay for table, so we gotta be careful that they can get a show, too. Sound good? As far as tipping, if it's an entertainer, you are more than welcome to tip. In fact, you are encouraged to tip, bitch. And you are, you can even move past this barricade to come tip the entertainers. Please do not tip the contestants. They are here to work. They're here to spend money, not earn money. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna have a good time tonight again. I'm just so grateful that you're all here. Thank you for supporting drag and pageantry. Whenever, I'm, whenever I do an interview, they're always like, what's the one difference between American drag and Canadian drag? And I always say pageantry, because we don't really have a pageant scene up here. So I'm hoping with Canada Continental coming back, we can bring pageantry back to Canada. That's so important. Are y'all ready to go? We are gonna have a good time tonight. Thank you so much. Without further ado, Mr. DJ, hit it.